it's very necessary to prepare for a Christmas party. You can't just turn up and expect to enjoy yourself. You can't just sit there and say, entertain me. I would. But then at the last, uh, at the last, with loads of food, you sit there, you say, sandwich, boring, 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 another sandwich, I know, I will, I will drink a lot of alcohol and then I won't be bored anymore, what happens when you drink your alcohol? The little man, the little editor in your head, stops working. So as soon as you say something, as soon as you think something, you say it. That's right. As soon as you think something, you say it. So you say, old friend comes in and says, hello, hello, old friend. I, 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 like, I like you. I used to fancy you at school. Oh, yeah, you're the headmaster, aren't you? Right, I used to fancy you at school. Uh, you want to come, you want to come in. You make an absolute fool of yourself. It's much better, much better, if you're not prepared to stay in the kitchen. Uh, excuse me, can I, can I do the washing up, please? What? Well, I'm the, I'm the third person to ask that. Well, you've got quite a lot of guests. There'll be a lot, there'll be a lot of washing up to do. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll, just be in, I'll just be in the kitchen if anyone wants me. The party drags on. Right, you sure, you sure there's nothing else you want me to wash up? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, you want me to mingle? You go back into the main room. Everyone is standing there like a lot of ten pins. They've got a glass. They've still got a glass in one hand and a plate in the other. The glass is being filled up. Nobody wants to go home. Nobody wants to be the first to go home. Their smile is fixed, like quick-drying cement. This is a lovely party. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Somebody, usually me, comes in and says, Do you, do you want to play What's Wrong With Me? What's that then? Well, I go out to the room and... The rest of you who are in the room have to decide what's wrong with me. And when I come in, I have to guess from your attitude what's wrong with you. Now, nobody has prepared for this party. They're not relaxed. They've done no, they've done no relaxation exercises. All they've done is to RSVP, respond a civil play, uh, to the card that's invited them. They think, oh, it'll be, it'll be tremendous fun, or else they feel duty-bound if it's a family or a friend who they invited last year to get bored, and now it's, now it's their turn to get bored. Nobody wants to play this game. Only the ones who are suitably drunk want to play any games at all. Twister or sardines. Anywhere where they can have physical contact, like rugby. Oh, I'll get. Oh, <laughs> oh, is that your leg? Ha <laughs> ha! So you're all in. The, you're all in this heat playing on the floor. You're still not enjoying yourself. You're pretending. You're, des you're desperately pretending to enjoy yourself, but you're not. In your mind, you're saying, How long is this going on? When can I say goodnight? 
then the host fortunately does their does their duty. Oh look, I didn't realise what the time was. It's getting very late. I uh, is every, is everyone all right for go for getting home all right? And then without without anyone sighing or looking relieved, they gradually go. Except you, because you've gone back in the kitchen and you don't know anyone's leaving anyway. Uh, so, whenever you have a party, you have to relax before the party. You have to be in the right frame of mind. Otherwise, you end up dreading places, things like Christmas and birthdays. So, can anyone, can anyone tell me any good exercises that I could do, please. <laughs>